Huh. So if one person can win significantly in the laser bat battle, that'll be important. But for the most part, you're using the lasers to sort of move around and try to find your openings to get in and get big damage. Okay. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Power shields jab one and rolls away. Good timing for Power 7 on that. Also, P47, I should mention, P47 kind of dominated in the, in the GUI did a lot. It was a back and forth counter pick war before then. And then P47 ended up just way on top in the GUI Ditto. Ended up winning, I believe, three straight games. <laughs> so we'll see if Poyo is able to get back into this one. And early on, P47 up by 100 HP. Yeah, doing very well in this game, number one. <coughs> for sure, for sure. And I think this is sort of where we get into the contrast and styles. Um, what Poyo describes as playing the player. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but P47 <laughs> is always playing the player. He is not yeah. not the type, even with the character, like he plays like two top tiers and then artists, like all three of whom are very much characters you can kind of get into a rhythm with and like lock in yourself into a game plan with. But what makes him so good is he doesn't do that. Like if you watched his set with Nuggets in the last tournament's grand finals, he never just like locks himself into one style. He is always ready to adapt to the situation, go for big reads, while also staying consistent with the you know, sort of correct zoning pressure that he'll do. Yeah. And that, that yeah. duality of styles where you can do both of those at once has been extremely important to his success, but as I say this, Poyo has brought this back. He's down on 70 and has very slowly brought it back. A bunch of lasers, a couple of stones, and uh, I think one dash attack mixed in there. Also one uh, the ta like, charge command grab to beat uh, to beat what I'm saying in stone. Yeah, that was very yeah, I forgot how it like. After, oh, okay. uh, oh. One more hit, one more big hit, or a couple more lasers will do it. Three more seven. It's gonna be one, one more laser now. Game. This is gonna be a lot of laser game now. He cannot stone. Oh, well, he did stone. Oh. He stoned safely. Oh, oh he gets out of there just barely. Stone. Here's All right. Stone. Well, very close game here, but Poyo needs to get hit by just... zero lasers the rest of the game. Oh, Ooh, parasol comes umbrella. out. Block the, uh, block the parasol comes better. out. Okay, and he goes mm. for the dash attack jab again. Ah, that last I don't one think came that's out plus too on block, but it, the timing is going to be pretty strict to drop shield and jab first if you're the one on defense there. Yeah, dash attack is Poyo not plus. Um, because there's no parts, like it's, it's tough. <laughs> so. The game was significantly closer than I would have expected it to be, uh, just like from watching the first 30 seconds though. Right. Um, yeah. Because P47 pulled away massively uh, right off the bat, and Poyo brought it all the way back, so definitely would not expect any character to switch off the um, <coughs> And the interesting thing about this, so usually we talk about how good P47 is at covering the stage with Magalore, but I feel like he's just as good with Gooey. I'd kind of like to see Poyo take him somewhere else and see if he's more comfortable. Not that Poyo is yeah, bad on the stage, like I, don't, I think he's very you know, average on what is typically the normal starter stage for a lot of matchups. But P47 stands out as being like far better than most players on this stage specifically, even by his standards. Yeah. I agree with that. Oh, and the lower jab is oh, that, in there. Oh, that's platform. Okay. Yeah, it's it's really good. I did not know that. So something that P47 is doing that I've never seen Poyo do once in his life is he's actually doing like the slide angled lasers, um, with Gooey, and I don't I actually, actually know how to you do that. Could do those. Yeah, I didn't know that until like this week, and I still don't know how you physically do it. Um, I'm guessing like, you just kind of Gooey can... very slightly off center, but I don't know. I guess like Gooey continues to mechanically evade me. I cannot play this character to save my life. Ooh, those were jabs, um, but... and grab, and... Poyo, Ooh, please nice. angle lasers jab down. Is going to take well, the lead back pretty significantly for Poyo. He had a very slight lead, and now he's up by about sixty. Now yeah. we're playing a GUI game where uh, now the zoning is just going to get really tense. I mean, we've been playing GUI Fighters 2 for the last five minutes, so. Okay, a couple more now lasers. we have a small little laser link. Poyo little very laser slowly link. pulling away with this game. It has not been a quick process, yeah. but it, like, it hasn't been <laughs> that long. It, is, it has been a faster yeah, I mean, game than what we've seen sometimes between these two. Okay, good job. Yeah, this, this, is very, game. this is going very fast yeah, by these two standards yeah. for sure. Oh, that's a huge stone. For Poyo. Poyo started to bring this game back, and then uh, Poyo gets what? both hits of a stone. Exactly He's gonna close it out he... with that jab. Is he just trying to stall his time in the air using the jab? Uh, I do it's not know. Not the best way to what he was time. trying to do, it did not work very well. <laughs> yeah, that is true.
<laughs> we have lost Sandra. Um, we've also lost. Um, yeah, we've, we've gotten Xander no back. Pick yet, so. No one's disconnected, though. I mean, if we lose P47 here, that's fine, because that means I get my $5. <laughs> okay. Then I'm not going to let that $5 go. Like, I want to say, I want to say that I'm not getting paid enough for this, but, like, even if we go through a reset and Poyo wins, then I only make $5 for, like, an hour of work. Like, that's super <laughs> not getting paid enough. <laughs> Uh, it's not minimum wage. It's like minuscule. Yeah, like I'm literally being stolen from. This is institutional racism. This is not okay. <laughs> Three fighters to right, racism. So we have the artist pick come out here. And this was a big character pick in their last set. Um, we saw P47 win this matchup with the artist. We saw Poyo take out P47's Magalore with the artist. And we also yeah, um, we also saw when. Seven state artist that uh, Poyo destroyed him with whip. Like usually finish the game with 200 health or so. What's what her helping? Kirby. The big Kirby. The big Kirby comes. Yep. Just dash attack through it. Not gonna work. God, the hit paint marks are so big. I, I Literally, it's really so like, like it's so big. If you get hit by one speck of paint, you take 14 damage. Like what? I think it makes sense. Like make also, uh, Boyo, if you're watching this back, please end lasers from from DP once. Like, I don't ask he a lot of you, bro. Earlier today, I saw him do it one time. It's the first time. Wait, he did it? it? Okay, let's go. Oh, he did it. <laughs> it was the first time I've ever seen it. Did the DP let's go. Okay, so the jab getting P47 under a hundred, still a pretty commanding lead. Gets the vine, but Boyo was able it's to find but lasers, lasers. Oh, dash attacking back in. That was good timing on that. Dash attacks one laser, hesitates very slightly, and then dash attacks through the next one to hit him. Got hit by those one HP. Yep, Flex good timing on the dash attack again, up. and that'll do it. So P47 going up 2 1, and this is huge because now he has counter pick advantage. Yep. As long as he can stay ahead on counter picks, he'll win this set unless Poyo can get the win on P47's counter pick. So even if Poyo is able to win, you know, Artist Whip, or even go back and win Gooey Dittos now, Poyo has to win every Gooey Ditto, or or Whip Artist, or whatever other counter pick he gets, and then he also has to win games against P47's counter pick, which means he either has to win Gooey Artist or he has to win Whip Magalore, which we saw last time. That one's probably not happening. Yeah. Last he tried Whip Magalore one time, did about 20 damage. So I doubt we're ever going to see that. I think it's more likely that we're going to see Gooey Ditto and then Gooey Artist. And we'll see. They play very similar characters. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Again, Poyo in loser's side. Lost to Pizza Time. So. Yeah. To win this set, which means he has to come back from down where he is. There, he is down counter pick advantage right now. <laughs> So, game number four, Gooey Ditto, back on Bubbly Clouds here. Gooey's so good at killing streamers, what the hell? Yeah. Uh, I, I'm very hard, four dash attacks will kill if both hits connect. Yeah, like, why does he do, like, 30 damage with every hit? Like, what? Dash attack's the one number that, like, I really don't get. Like... <laughs> yeah, like, it does 28. Like, damage numbers are pretty crazy, but dash attack especially is just like, wow, what is this? Stone too, I feel like. Like stone both hits well. stone together do thirty. Well, stone but, I feel uh, like you usually don't hit by both, but if you do, it's like oh, oh right, that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this one's very even. Poyo up by about one or two lasers. Oh, and something interesting we see right there. Poyo was able to clank it out, but the downwards angled DP lasers go through platforms. Yeah. Learned that in friendlies today against Croc. Um, but yeah, 
downward angle DP lasers go through platforms. No other lasers go through platforms. Like they'll go up through platforms, <laughs> definitely angled ones. But yeah, lasers all lasers angled platforms. down or DP lasers of the normal angle do not go through platforms. Only the angled down DP lasers. And there he does. He, he does. he does. So he doesn't know how to do that now. Let <laughs> go, Croc. Uh, what? Let's go for you. Let's, go. let's not go Once again, he, he Croc. Again, Croc being no, the... no, let's not go Croc. He not fucking go Croc. He chose DDD. Like, DD. And Poolgate is not a bad DD. player. You cannot just like troll against him and expect to win. Let's not go. Alright, so Poyo getting a full DP, but Poyo Force having still about. Oh well, about one dash <coughs> attack, now it's tied. Yeah, Two big dash attack reads in a row, Poyo takes the lead. And that goes back to what Poyo uh, was we'll... talking about in this matchup in the Ditto. Um, which is that it's a it's a big laser mini game for most of it, and then it's all about who can get in and get those one or two big melee hits, and that's who's going to control yeah. the match. Yeah, that, that Will dash is attack is dash attack big enough to clink out lasers like as you're going forward? Um, from what I've seen so far, it looks like yes, but not at the start. Okay, that makes it looks sense. Looks like it has to be already out <coughs> for a bit, and then it can clink out. I definitely saw Poyo like attack dash attack through a laser at the very end, but I've also definitely seen it hit them out of startup. Oh, that makes sense. Avoid yeah. that. Still Wait, great mix up with the command grab. Incredibly Ooh, close game right here. here. Couple lasers for either one. Poyo up one laser right now. Now they're dead laser even. Game. Eleven health each. And this laser game is just intense because it's just. Oh, DP? Oh, and a fantastic wow. roll of air dodge from P47. He Missed air dodges through the, the jab that. one. Poyo does not keep mashing the jab. And he turns around and gets hit by a P47 jab to take game game four. Yeah, we saw Poyo actually pull out the 8B uh, there, which would have won him the game, but he did it in the wrong direction, and then yeah. it got stuffed out. So that's uh, and Poyo that's tough. Have uh, He's, he doesn't believe in his artist enough to do this against Gooey. He's sticking with the Gooey Ditto. Yep. And uh, I feel like win. Whip definitely is not happening. Yeah, Whip is probably not the answer. So, so he's got to win. <laughs> Now four more games, and he's only going to get a maximum of one counter pick, of one um, one more game after this one on a counter pick. So yep. at this point, even if Poyo wins this game, his his best uh, his best hope is that he still has to win two games on people seven's counter pick out of out of three. I need some water. I'll be right. While back. also winning um, every gooey ditto or whatever else he chooses to counter pick himself. Yeah. So, and then even after that, he's got another set to win. Yeah, and that's to reset bracket. So it's a tall hill to climb for Poyo for sure. Um, can certainly do yeah. it. His his GUI has gotten so much better the last couple weeks as we've been talking about. But P47 has just sure. really been so solid. And the thing is, like, I want to say, like, you say, oh yeah, you know, it's a tall hill to climb. And I want to say he's like climbed taller hills. I don't think there's a taller hill to climb in this yeah, game right now than what he's about to do. Like, I don't, I don't think so. Especially in a set like this where he's got counter pick advantage as well. Up in couple games, like this is gonna be really hard. Cause he's also got a specific counter pick for Poyo. Like he's got the artist pick if Poyo stays gooey ever, and then he's got yep. the he's got the Magalore he can go back to if Poyo wants to try his whip. So really a difficult or again these slight angled lasers are doing really a really good job. Yeah, they're doing massive work right now because that that gives gooey so many more options of angles he can cover. Um, because with just, uh, like, full up, full down, and, like, yeah. straight ahead, you have so many blind spots. And, like, specific positions that you have to float angles, through in order to hit Like, people. having five angles instead of three is huge. Yeah, because, like, that makes it so that you don't have to go to specific places in order to hit people. You yeah. can just, like, hit, like, aim at them and shoot. Um, which is really interesting. And P47 is definitely, uh, showing off these of that, so. And this wasn't the... The, the one and really only place where P47 has shown that his GUI is like a level above Poyo's. Because Poyo has yeah, for sure. all of these other GUI things down. Like he plays the character with all the moves that he does use. He plays it, you know, I would say correctly in, in a certain sense. <laughs> it's gotten him this far. Yes. Got him very far in today's bracket. Only lost a pizza time and then works with losers without much trouble. So now he's got to... Oh, and the dash attack will take it. So Poyo oh, does take nice. another, another game here in the Gooey Ditto, but he's got to win against Counterpick now. He only has one more game to play with in this first set of Grands. So what do we see here? Do we see Poyo stick with the Gooey and try to fight the Artist, or do we see him go to the Whip, see if he can fight the Magalore? That's probably enough. <laughs> 
Or does he yeah, yeah, no, I think there's, I think that there's no way. I think there's no way that what happens here. I think the most likely thing to happen is to go artist. Um, that's that's my prediction. If he doesn't go gooey, artist probably will be. <laughs> yeah, artist. Yeah, did really well I don't think gooey's him. gonna stay out. And if he like at all. It, who does P47 go? He's gonna say gooey. So we're gonna see the P47 okay, artist. That's again. surprising. Oh no, you see the U water. There we go. I mean, I'm down. Okay, so we're back on Gardens. P47 in Artist Gooey, which he has ge generally won pretty comfortably. Yep. Can Poyo make the adjustments here? We've seen him get a little bit closer in this matchup, but not really close enough. Not really close enough that I think he's going to take the game. So definitely some big changes yeah, for sure. come in. But I, I also think he is capable of it. We'll see how it goes. Oh, and the big Kirby right off the bat. I'd like to see him use that more to get a free jump AP punish. But yeah, so fun you thing know for that... A fact that he's gonna jump over it and float to the sky. And artist has a good <laughs> Yeah, he has actually two moves for that. In general, but but like it always happens. Oh, nice to catch out the grab there. So speaking of Big Kirby, actually, a uh, cool thing that we found out uh, a couple weeks ago is if you buffer um, to be at the very beginning of a match, you will always get Big Kirby. Really interesting. Okay. Yeah, big um, paintings like are. Thing, yeah, it's an RNG minute thing because paintings are determined based on the exact frame of the match that you press to be. Oh right, yeah. And the first so frame of the match right, always right, gives you big yeah. Kirby. So. That's really interesting. And also, the countdown is the only situation in this game where there is a buffer. <laughs> right. Yeah. Uh -oh. Also, um, four seven is at three health. Yeah. It yeah. Gets into a into a gooey jab. Yeah. So <laughs> Poyo figured something out there, and now it's yeah Poyo. Yeah, Poyo like figured something out while I was talking about RNG manipulation. And P47 took 130 damage. I think it might have. I think it might have been Ninja Eleven's artist that uh, that really taught uh, Poyo how to deal with that matchup. Ninja's artist kind of got bodied though. I mean, yeah, but it's yeah. still like match matchup experience is magic experience. That is true. That's true. All right, we're going right back into it on Gardens. That's the first time I've seen Poyo beat uh, the P47 artist. So we'll see if he can do it again. If he can do it one more time, then he's just got to win one of his counter picks to win the set. Meanwhile, if P47 can hold on and clutch this one out, then Poyo's still in a pretty rough spot. Ah, yes. <laughs> wow, that hurts. <laughs> All right, so we are into game. Anyway. Uh, is it seven or eight? Game seven. This is game seven. It's all tied up. Game seven, three, three. Okay, actually, yeah, actually, yeah. Okay, yeah, game seven. Seven, three, three on greens. We do still have the artist here. Uh, artist is not leaving. Yeah, see. Oh, um, oh yeah. I, so I think that's true from that range. Uh, there is a uh, which range one? where. Um, Grab like into, throw into the corner into wall bounce dash attack is true for artist. I think he found yes. it there. That looked true. You know, like max range then? Like, that not was it's, like... it's like max range of dash attack, not of grab. Yeah. Like, yeah, like right around the max range of the dash attack itself. Oh, that was interesting. It looks like um, he's actually in a grounded state for a moment when he unrocks, because even though he looks like he's in the air. Wow, this game is hmm. super close here. Yeah, it's very tight. One hit either way. And the lays just come in, so this is gonna oh, look at spacing. Whoa. Yeah, P47's yeah, already doing a great. Punish, instead of stone oh, for Poyo. And now P47's in danger. They're not, they're not dashed into a jab. You can't really make any of those uh, risky risky moves now. You can expect. Uh, yeah, can one expect more full jab plus one laser will do it for Poyo. Okay, good trade for P47, though. Oh, he misses that, though. Get that into the stone. Okay, good dash attack. One more might do it. Poyo at 13 health. Yeah, one more of any artist move will take him out here. So much. All he has to do is rely mm. on those flex now. Same time oh, I think it's jab. Oh, the dash. The jab one dash attack mix up from Poyo is going to take it. Wow. And now, do we see P47 maybe leave the artist behind and go back to the gooey ditto? Uh, Definitely a possibility. It's debatable. <clears throat> 
In game six, he lost pretty hard, but that one was very close. That one definitely could have gone either way. I feel like he missed one punish at the end that could have swung that the other other way. Um, but we'll see how this For goes. Sure. Poyo up 4-3. He's going to stick with the artist. Going to stick with the artist here. Okay. So what I would like to see from him here is uh, like more full hop 8Bs and like fading away from Gooey. Uh, to pressure his landing because that way if he stones then you're still in a position to be able to uh pressure that um horizontally instead yeah and then <clears> on reaction punish him for coming out of stone with this character exactly yeah you can punish that with like either a short hop 5b or like an 8b from the ground from below him or anything like that. so i definitely would like to see put that away put that <laughs> away okay Alrighty then oh now that that has been put away uh Okay, so he comes in with a 5B and it gets him the first hit there. Yep. And we're already seeing more uh, more APs yeah. out of P47. None of them have hit yet, but they are just setting up a large amount of airspace that Poyo can't access uh, with his float. And that's really important because that limits the uh, angles of lasers he's got access to. So. I like the spacing on that one because that grab was not reactive. Poyo was in a range where he had to respect that dash attack, 5B, and grab were all options, and he couldn't react to any of them. Oh, big stone read right there. Very close again, but people have been getting back in front with the dash attacks. Yeah, and even so, P47 proving something I think we all knew that it's not just Magalore. This guy has immaculate game sense and just like such a like reading that oh, that's, wasn't uh, that's unlock there. That's tough. Yeah, it's crazy. This dude's never played a competitive fighting game before this one. Yeah, he's insane. He said he's like played what? Smash, but not like seriously in tournaments and like he's never played another fighting game other than of course the ones they don't have a competitive scene yeah oh goes for the slide oh, not going to work but one more hit yeah that was a really good mix up though. and we are going to game nine and yeah amazing it be all right so i, like I think this is going to have to be a slide, gooey ditto for p47 to take it in this set oh i fixed the wrong score like last he, time i think he actually like fast followed the slide too because like that he came down quite a lot faster than like like a regular slide. So like he fast folded it into like regular artist attack. Yeah, yeah. He slid in, like, everyone off, immediately got back to the ground. Yeah, everyone has like link fast fall speed in this game. <laughs> we could have one game or we could have ten more. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> see, let's see if the three, four, seven has been wins wildly back and forth. Like it's impossible to predict who's gonna win this one. Poyo. We saw three four seven jump out and win a couple of them, and then we saw Poyo really control a couple of them and win comfortably. And we know that people seven would the prefer world. the artist in this matchup because that's what he stuck with whenever he had counter pick. Uh, but when he's going against counter pick, he knows that his alternative is playing artist whip, which has been real bad, or playing mag gooey, which is, of course not ideal. Way like gooey pops out of the bag. All right, um, here we go. Game nine. Gooey did out P47 and Poyo in grand finals. Gooey game. Oh, and the seven floating above him. Getting a couple lasers, but a big dash attack from Poyo gets the lead. Where do those lasers go? Look at him. Bam, bam, bam. It is just laser after laser. This really tense matchup of Gooey versus Gooey. Oh, the jab one just doesn't. He was at the very edge of it, wasn't able to combo into the rest of it. Oh, they both jab. Poyo's wins. The lower one will always win because the buck goes up a little bit. So, unless the timing works out that, like, theirs is inactive as you come in. It'll always run. Yeah, okay, so Poyo's rep. Seven, we're almost tied up again. I become so scared of the sound that the jab makes, like jab one makes. The it way just that feels it just feels like it hurts. I mean, it just sounds like, like it hurts. Hurts. <laughs> That kind of yeah. like oh, It's the same sound, sound as a lot of other moves in this game, but it doesn't stop is the difference. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> like, so many times. like oh, it, it keeps going. It keeps going. It's like they're hearing that really high pitched sound. Again from Poyo. And that's thing like kind of wobbles you with its tongue. We've actually seen P47 win most of the laser game here, but two full dash attacks where he gets both hits for Poyo. And that's given him a very, very slight lead. Oh, the laser game begins again. Yeah, for sure. Laser game in. And P47 Begin. has consistently had the edge in the laser game, not by a lot, but he consistently has won it by a little bit. But it's these dash attacks that are coming in and keeping this game close. P47 yeah, has won time. the long range game mo more often than not. But these dash attacks do, you know, at least 15 or 20 damage, and then sometimes you get both hits and getting 30. Yeah, yep. Poyo's really good at those unexpected aggressive options. Yeah, one dash attack can be seven. worth as many as three lasers, so... Oh, big dash attack from P47 now. He's back in the lead. Oh, no. 
Poyo gets one as well. Oh, wow. All right, so really close finish here. Oh, okay, good SDI. Yeah, he wasn't holding in there. That's nice. To the lasers. The Avoids lasers that appear one. again. Two more dash attacks will end the game for Poyo, or just one and then a laser. The Peeper 7 Ooh. getting back within a couple hits. Just laser after laser. This laser game oh, is so much more consistent so far, but Poyo has still kept this game tight with all these dash attacks. That's laser snipe there. We're within range of one jab or dash attack for either of them. Oh, he doesn't oh, have both on the jab. Actually, gets out of the he jab. At five health. Oh, wow. One laser Amazing will do it just towards the end of the range on it. He's getting that invincibility from that little force field that you get oh, from those dark. Oh, and he comes out of shield and we're going to uh, get another set. Oh, P47 yeah, resets the bracket. Oh, sorry, Poyo resets Poyo the bracket. Poyo the 5-4 reset over P47. Man. And we have one more set tonight. This has been so cool. Uh, this has been so, so long cool already. Like the meta gaming is just left and right with laser games here. I just want my five dollars. <laughs> oh my god, bro! I don't. We're gonna know. have a pot against P47 by the end dollar. of the season. It's just gonna be all the bets against him. <laughs> Let's see. Um. Yeah, I think it's gonna continue to be gooey dos probably. Yeah, I think for the double blind, at least, it'll have to be Gooey Dittos, because the risk of picking Artist into Whip for P47 is too great, and the risk of picking Whip into Magalore for Poyo is too great. Uh -huh. But I think that's less likely on Poyo's side, so P47 would it be more likely to double blind into the Artist Gooey matchup if he, if he might be willing to do that. For sure. I'm just watching it, and it's just... I don't know how to feel about it. Like I look at it from one side. And going into uh, going into most resets, uh, one person has a decidedly more amount of momentum here usually. But going into this, going into this one, I can't. It's not really the case. Yeah, yeah it doesn't yeah. feel like there's any Kinda momentum equal. after after a set that was decided by less than 20 HP. It feels like this one could absolutely still go either way. And yeah, what we've one. seen from oh, let me fix the name here. They're both on the other side now. There we go. Okay. So they're taking a bit on maybe strikes here. Maybe Poyo just wanted a break after that one, which is fair, because that was a pretty intense set. Yeah. Gooey Dittos are super interesting. They are. They use a lot of aspects of the character at once. It's you know, there, there's mm. a lot of matchups for Gooey where he's he's either reliant on his zoning or his camping or his or, or his up-close options, like, he kind of has to focus in on one of them and, like, sprinkle in the other stuff once in a while. And in the Ditto, he really has to do everything. Yeah, and one thing I really like is that in most matchups, Gooey just uh, floats and uh, shoots lasers for, like, a lot of the neutral. But uh, here, they both, they, they can obviously both do that, so, so it's, like, more of an aerial dogfight, which I think is a really cool dynamic. Yeah, and it, it opens up this interesting, like, laser battle that we see, see for a long time, and then we see the, like, the big reads come in with the DP, the jab, and the dash attack, which are all pretty risky outside of, like, somewhat the jab, um, but the jab leads into mix-ups sort or of on both crack. sides. And mm -hmm. if you can get one of those reads right, all of a sudden you get, like, 30 damage, which is a swing of, you know, approximately four lasers. <laughs> and that's huge when yeah. so much of the game is dictated by those laser battles. Mm -hmm. There's so many. Is that uh, it's less the what you're doing in the laser battles and more what you're doing uh, between in between those, yeah. Oh, and they did actually double blind to Gooey Artist here. So P47 confident that Poyo wouldn't just start off with Whip. Yep. And he thinks that um, the Artist is going to give him the best chance against the Gooey here. Remember, he had the counter pick advantage in the last set, and then he threw it away after losing this matchup twice. And then he did clutch it out once, Poyo was able to come back and win on his own counter pick, which of course was the Gooey Ditto in Game 9. So we're back on Garden to start out. Generally this is P47's home. Um, incredibly strong on the stage. And he's proven that he's strong on the stage with all of his characters, not just with the Magalar. Yeah. Oh, good timing on the shield release that time, but P47 does get the punish on that stone. Okay, good punish that time from P47. He got a bit of a lead early on, but only by about one dash attack. One Gooey dash attack. Mm, two. And there it is. Oh, yes. So close one game, thing I'm not... a very marginal lead for P47. 
Mm. One thing I'm not noticing a lot of is when uh, Hoyo is using the DP, he's not using the lower version, even if P47 is below him. And the yeah. lower version... Yeah. Hoyo used to just not do it at all. I don't think he knew how to until recently. <laughs> but he's been doing it a little bit today. I would definitely like to see it more. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Because, like, as it is, like, that giving himself, like, willingly giving himself that blind spot has given, uh, like, it's given P47 a lot of opportunities to either move out of the way, get the painting, press a button, uh, oh, all of which would have lost to a laser if there was one there. So. <clears throat> Alright, so I like these jabs that P47 is facing as well. Ooh, almost gets away from that. Good power shield, text to throw, and jabs off the tech. Great finish wow. before seven in that game one. That was a FUC wow. interaction there. Yeah. That came with a move that's like roughly even on block, and then tech the throw and immediately jab to catch the mashing. Yeah. Good. Wow. Good stuff from before seven to finish game one, and then he takes the early lead. <coughs> oh man. All right. Here so we go. We did and this is what I expect. I expect when P47 wins a game, he will switch to the GUI and force Poyo to do the ditto, rather than resign himself to Artist Whip. And Poyo is going to stick with the GUI probably the whole time, which means P47 will pull out the Artist whenever it's his counterpick. That's where we saw this end up last time, and after a long counterpick war that sort of went multiple directions, this was sort of what they settled into. Poyo has decided that the GUI is the best pick for him all the time, and P47 has decided that, that GUI is his best blind pick, and Artist is his counter pick. So this means that this, uh... So just kind of taking off. Oh. He only oh, gets the kind of pick. right there. Boyo, going up. Okay. Oh, good grab. Yeah. You did mention that, that he, he used to he just not grab too much at all. Up. Now really yeah, he used to not do that whatsoever. To be of the jab and the dash attack at that range. And I'll just go ahead and get a free grab once in a while. Exactly. <laughs> and once again, we're kind of seeing this play out the way we did before. Big dash attack right there. Um, but what we're seeing mostly is that P47 is the one winning these long range battles, but not by a significant enough margin to make up for the fact that Poyo is the one getting more dash attack reads, DP reads, stuff like that. Yeah, winning the close range battle. The, yeah, um, it's been, it's been who gets those big reads for big damage, like that one, and it takes him to the lead again. Yep. And even things like that grab that you just mentioned, that's also really important, right? Because yeah. Gooey's weakest point as a character is escaping corner pressure, and one of Gooey's strongest points as a character is applying corner pressure. Yeah. Uh, with things like that jab, that dash attack, even another re-grab. Um, so the fact that Poyo is being able to put P47 in that situation so much more often than the other way around is definitely, I feel like, contributing to his success in the diddle. And Poyo still only has a very slight lead. This is one big dash attack or DP away. Or just a few more lasers, because P47, as we mentioned, is still winning this long range game pretty easily. Oh, yep. big punish right there on the dash attack. Two dash attacks dash. in a row okay. for Poyo. Very and that is nice. A massive lead in this game. Two lasers away from winning now. Oh, Poyo's yeah, going the jab, though. Watch out. Oh, Poyo does get one of the oh, slight angle lasers. If he can start to incorporate that more, this will definitely be an easier time for him. One more laser will do it, and that is it. We are at 1-1 in true finals here. Very nice. Even in the long-range battles, we can see Poyo really wants to get it close, whereas P47 is more in the position of uh, being on the back foot and running away, and that's how Poyo is sometimes winning these. That's also another reason that I think those grabs are so important, like Justin was talking about, is that in those long-range laser battles, the ability to move backwards is still important. The ability yep. to just have an extra direction to move around, just for spacing, is super important. So, we'll talk about that more next game, because I guess this is probably going to be Artist Gooey, but, but we'll, see if, we'll see if P47 is able to adapt to that a little more, and then maybe be able to contest um, contest Poyo at close range a bit more, because it's been, I don't know, like, he's winning the long range game and then just, like, getting caught by the edge of dash attacks or something like that. Most of the time he's getting caught when he's, like, flying away, and then he's not... Um, He's getting caught by the very bottom of it, but it still does 20-something damage. So, every time he gets hit yeah. by one of those, it's going to be such a big punish. But again, that makes up for, like, if Poyo loses by three lasers in one of the long-range interactions, 
He makes it all up with one dash attack or one jab. Alright, game three back on gardens. Back to the artist. <laughs> Unfortunate base hit. Okay, so game three of, of the second set now. I'd like to see a couple more of these dash attacks be 8Bs. But he is spacing them pretty well in general. Oh yeah, tries to think about the jab, but Gooey Jab is marginally bigger. Oh, really good block with the easel, but the big curve uh -oh. does not go under the platform from there. Yeah. Uh, okay, guess the jab. So artist, yeah, artist jab that is much bigger. Mm -hmm. Artist jab is much bigger horizontally, but uh, gooey jab, gooey rapid jab at least is a lot bigger vertically. Yeah, gooey rapid jab goes. Oh, for sure. Yeah. The green so rapid jab will hit that force. All right, and the jab's gonna get him close, but it's still a slight lead for for four seven right now. Okay, so that time he reads the, the grab. It's pretty much a 50-50 once you get into that kind of range, because P47 can jab or dash attack to punish a stone release, or he can grab to punish you staying in it. I like that Poyo went for the stone release that time, because from that range, you're actually going to get grab and dash attack. That time he was a little too close. Not sure why the throw out of the corner there, but... I think he was a little too close, didn't want to take the risk of getting jabbed. That's fair. Yeah. Alright, so All right. Gooey does have like Taking control, like, but a big Gooey dash attack. Oh, but a punish on that one. Yep. First time takes the oh. lead back in the set. <laughs> oh crap, I got I got oh, wow. lagged out for a bit there. Yeah, P47 playing really well as artist. Yeah, his artist has been really solid. When we first saw his artist come out, like the first time, it was it was just holding forwards and pressing dash attack. And to his credit, Poyo didn't know what to do with it, so P47 kept doing it. But over time, Poyo has definitely learned this matchup much better. And he's able to keep these yeah. games competitive, but P47 is consistently winning Artist Gooey more often than not. Yeah, I think... So, uh, since he double-blinded to that matchup and has won it the first two times, he's again in the position where if he can win on his counterpick every time, he'll win the set. Yeah, I think that... Whoa. Uh, whoa. Yo, the D showing up. And that... Wait... G47 Bandana D. So I have heard for a while. G47, G47, G47 he has mid. the Bandana D and a Staff that he trusts quite a bit. Now, I think Staff is probably not going to be the pick ever, but. Um, but the Bandy comes out here in game four. And I, I can get this. You know, the Gooey Dinos have been close, but Poyo's been winning them all pretty consistently, even if they've been very tight. So he's got plenty of games to play with. Why not give this one a shot? Yeah. P47 mentioned that up, even if he can just take one game with the inexperience of it, now he's put himself in such a strong position where uh, Poyo's gonna have to win twice against the artists. Yeah. Uh, P47 mentioned that if Gooey and Magalore are ever banned, he would play Bandanity instead. Yeah. Like as the main character. But I think it's interesting. P47 winning Just because uh, Bandanity is probably is is generally not considered a top tier character, but no, um, not at all. He's he's pretty he's okay. He's not, you know, solid tools. He's not a bottom tier, but easily on the lower end of the tier list. I believe in our, our latest top player updated tier list, um, he's like sixth or seventh from the bottom. Yeah, he's yeah. sixth from the bottom on that. So, so yeah, he's, <laughs> he's not he's not as bad as Dedede. We did see Dedede win games earlier. Um, oh really? Like, one. This is one. gonna be a pretty, a pretty tough order. One game. Yeah. One a game. Also, it wasn't against Gooey. Yeah, that is true. It was against Mennonite. This is still pretty hard, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like, okay, Bandanity... Okay, damage still coming out from uh, He's keeping this really close. Oh, but those ground thrusts are being red now. Uh... 8B is so sad. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Uh, oh, there he is. Like, puts the spear straight up. Like, Get him jump. Four four seven is not doing very right well. There. Wow, yeah, jab is one of jab is a crack move. I think mean, this is that second grab though. All right, so we're definitely lead back with the bandana D. And he hits Yo, the AP as waddle, well. Getting those water wave dashes now. Like, come on, just jump up to the platform and stuff. <laughs> wow, what a crazy development here. And the jab beats up the dash attack again. Wow. He's really close to winning this one. Boy out on a 33 health, oh. 47 now falling into the danger zone as well at 52. He is just jumping over those. Them. And also, I think this is one of the only jabs, maybe the only jab, that will actually outrange Gooey's. 
Yeah. Yes. He's in flight fatigue. Good landing catch. Oh no. Help for the full stone. The waddle copter cancel. Gotta be careful. Those ground drifts are gonna Let's be see a little lot. If P four seven can make this, oh wow. Oh, and a big oh, power shield for Poyo to take game four. If he doesn't get that power shield, there's a really good chance P four seven clutches that game out. Yeah. Gonna so he got here's really power shield for Poyo on the dive kick there. And now something to mention: uh, Bandana D dive kick goes down very slowly, but it starts frame five. So if they jump at you or try to throw out a move right at you immediately, it'll break a lo it'll break out of a lot of like almost true combos because it's one of the fastest options in the game. Yeah. Additionally, uh, just like Beam J Six B GUI Laser, uh, the frame five hitbox is around uh, Bandinity's entire body, and the spear yeah. hitbox actually comes out later. Um, so if so you which makes it even go better. Out and hit him, you'll actually get combo broken pretty easily. But if you stay patient like that, you can punish it on the ground. And uh, Poyo did a really good job sh power shielding the landing hit and splash hit box, because those will send you really far away if you normal shield them. Alright, Poyo so going hit, back. We the artist back here at 2-2. Two -two. Yeah. Yeah. Probably back on Gardens. Yeah. Alright, so game five, it's 2-2. Two to two. We see the artist GUI matchup again. Now, P47 has usually won these, but Poyo will need. To, I think Poyo will need to win at least one of these to take to take the set. Yeah, in the position we're in right now, if P47 wins this matchup three more times, it does not matter what Poyo does in the other ones. So Poyo will have to win this matchup at least once, unless he decides to blind pick something else and be willing to try it against either the Mag Artist or Bandana D. Ooh, bad luck on this, the, the base pull there. Yeah, this Good dash attack out of the corner. I really like that. The double dash attack out of the corner. And then he jumps up with the jump 8B. But a huge dash attack for Poyo. And he takes a big lead here in game 5. Oh, there we go. Wow. He's doing much better uh, pressuring with lasers from long distance. And then floating away from artist dash attack at short distance. That's something you pointed out earlier, Justin. Um, the players get, gotten a lot better at floating, like just out of your opponent's threat range. Yeah, for sure. <coughs> oh, yeah, Poyo has picked up like so many small gooey things that he feels like he can be doing better, and like oh. actually done things with them. And I would not have expected that from him, like pretty recently, honestly. So. Okay, big punish right there from P47. Mm -hmm. and this game's almost tied up again. Oh, yep. Good, uh, good, good, good grab. I think Poyo has proven himself to be a very adaptable player. Um, you have to understand how surprising that is to us, knowing him from Smash. <laughs> yeah, oh. like, you... Even knowing him from the early, like, parts of right, this yeah, game, that's like, he, that's so weird. He's always thought of games. He, like... And he said it himself. That's antithetical to the way he thought of this game two weeks yeah. ago. Like... Got four health <laughs> this is a huge situation right here. Who oh, jabs that laser. Oh, and he... Oh, the laser! Uh, oh, oh, that one. Yeah, the Poyo small, the, the, the small, the, the small disjoint at the very start of dash attack, not to stop laser. Oh, my, wow! So Poyo a very takes back small wind up. He's a vulnerable to the dash attack. This is this is incredible. If that dash attack hits, the game's probably over. It wouldn't kill, but he would only need one more hit, which would be either a second dash attack or a jump eight B, anything like that, and it would have been over. Three, yeah, two, and you lose all that pressure if you can't make favorable trades like that. Exactly, yeah. This is That's really also just like, close. it's so rough to be at one one laser away from death. Like, no, for it sure. It so completely limits your options as to what you can do and what you can't. Yeah. Yeah. Man, we might be heading towards our first ever game 18. <laughs> oh, I'll be cool. I mean, oh man! The first, really um, the first set, the first grand finals between these two went uh, sixteen games. It was two five threes, and then we did have a game nine set in grands between Nuggets and P47, but that ended in one set, so we didn't have a nine game grands into a reset. Now we had a five four first set go the way of Poyo, and set number two is currently sitting at three two, with P47 down a game and with counter pick edge. I think Poyo might have figured something out here. It's possible. I like that. Jab one, walk oh. up, jab one again. And he's forcing P47 to fight his way out of the corner, which Artist is capable of doing, but he's got to do it. It's not. It's not easy. 
There goes yeah. the bully transports. And like the only way, the ball. only, uh, the, the best reversal artist has is uh, dash beat, which is frame seven. But the, but again, it has the a small bit so so hard to jab though, that he really has to go for yeah. like, either a jab of his own, a short hop sculpture or something like that, which is something we don't see much in four seven. Um, okay, gets a jab I'm there. so he surprised that your baby didn't hit. Okay, rolls out of the no, a little bit too far away. And now gets the nice. double dash attack at center stage. People seven back in the lead here. Oh, and Jabba takes it back to Poyo. Really close game still. Poyo very slightly Danger. ahead. Oh, a huge jab. That was very no, bold for seven. Ooh. Yep, jab one grab again. Double. Oh, and I really like this from Poyo. Just doing jab one, walk forward, jab one to close the distance. And now he's one game away from taking the Four, two. Moment. Just went jab, jab, jab. He Breaking P47's streak of dominance. Yeah, the so great thing now, about does um. Go back to the artist, or does he try the gooey ditto again? The D, the Magalore. Like, what does he do with here? Well, he definitely does not go Magalore. I agree. Um, uh, that, that's not a, not an option. He's doing it. Oh, oh, never mind. Okay. So well, with his back against I was the gonna say it's going back to his done. Main. Back it up. End the stream. This has, been, over. this has been P47's best character against everyone who isn't Gooey, because Magalore loses <laughs> one matchup in this game, and this is it. Uh, maybe a second one, but Poyo doesn't yeah. character. No, Magalore doesn't lose wrestler. Definitely not. Wrestler. I did not uh, say wrestler. Not about uh, <laughs> that, was not, that was not ever in this, the discussion. Uh, I, no, I, Gooey, I, Gooey beats uh, uh, Mag loses to Gooey and possibly to Archer. Poyo does not play Archer, but. But he is—he's going with the gooey this time. So we got, we're on butter building. I wouldn't say like a little loser, but it is definitely close to you. I would have, um, yeah, I would have only expected Mag to come out like if for whatever reason Poyo went whip, which I also didn't expect to happen. Um, so Mag coming out here is very surprising. I, I do see the idea though. I think it's worth a shot. He's lost the artist. Yeah, a couple times in a row now. He's lost the gooey ditto last like four or five times. And now Magalore is actually taking a pretty solid control. Or seven he's, making he's full use of Magalore's tools. Regardless of this matchup, big apple right there after that conversion. He's proven himself to be the best Magalore and the best player in general as mostly a solo Magalore player. So I don't have an issue with him giving this a shot here again. He's got to win three games in a row, so we'd have to do it either either with the Magalore or we have to try the Gooey Ditto multiple times. Because I don't think it's realistic to think that he'd win with Artist when Poyo can go whip. Yeah, uh, that's... Whoa, oh, wow. Jab, okay, using like. the jab and reversal to get out of the corner. Narrowly yeah. missing that. Two health, though. Uh, yeah. Alright, so Poyo wins luck. a game with the Magalore. Momentum is shifting again. I like the I like the butter building pick um, as well. We'll see where um, where Poyo decides to go with this. Yeah, I feel like Poyo definitely goes. Uh, I think he definitely goes artist here if we stay on the mag. <coughs> Over Gooey. That's what I would think. I, th I think I think that might happen. Right. Then again, he hasn't gone artist in this set at all. Um, so that might just not be a thing he's trying to do tonight. He the once, but he also lost to it right after. And right. He lost pretty okay. convincingly the second time. So I would expect I would definitely expect to see um, to see the gooey stay, but you never know. Yeah, the thing is Poyo like Poyo makes some weird ass counter picks sometimes. Yeah. Like I definitely think Gooey's a better choice. Um one hundred percent. Look, we know we won't do that. <clears throat> But I think but. and artists are both a possibility here. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Especially, I feel like uh, like how dominant that game was for P forty seven might like that's the kind of thing that might start get uh, to get Poyo thinking about like right, yeah. you know maybe his his game plan's not <laughs> his game plan's not working. <laughs> so I think yeah. that alone uh, would maybe get him to pick artists, even if uh, he thinks that Gooey logically is his best choice. So. Yeah, I that think is a dominant artist pick. Yeah, going back to Gooey. with the Gooey, though, I like that. That's a good pick. Yeah. Um, letting, not letting... As well. um, this is a stage where he consistently had success when they were playing this matchup a lot last time. Mm -hmm. And I think the lack of platforms to hide under... I think Butterbuilding really restricted his ability to laser camp. 
And GUI also has stuff to do at close range, but P47 is just so smart at those close range situations. So now, instead, uh, P47 has to catch him floating around the screen with no platforms to hide under. Mm -hmm. I think this definitely benefits GUI, uh, since GUI can box and Magalore, like, not can't really. One button for that. Yeah. Oh, wow. Big lead early on. Already establishing a commanding lead. This could be big. All right. I do like that we're still seeing the um, like short, the jump half charge shadow balls as quickly as possible. Those are really yeah. hard to deal with, and he's doing it at heights where Poyo's gonna have to deal with them in in a way other than just floating above them all the time. Oh, and there we go. That's the adaptation I wanted to see last time. Is that he uses those half charge shadow balls to sort of force Poyo into the sky, but then he's also got to be able to um, he's got to be able to. Also, for being there. hit like hit the uncharged shadow balls and angle them up to punish him for going up that high. Oh, really good spacing on the stone. But we're very close. Yeah, to that's that's a high low 50 50. <laughs> oh, big Since attack. No Teleport yeah. to the sky, though. I can't imagine that was what he wanted. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, yeah, that yep. teleport to the sky. Oh, big, him big, rock, big rock, big rock. Oh. Alright, get the spike. Even more stones. Stones, dashes, lasers. We got that was like a, a slight lead. Yeah, so What's many priority based. Um, we got so many priority based attacks in here. But, geez. Ooh. Oh, good perfect block. Ooh, he perfected oh, after that the spike. That would have done it. But he gets oh, anyway. Oh ball. my God, we're going to game 18. We're going to game 18 here in grand finals. What oh, a finish, man. E47. He dropped the one combo just before that, where he did dash attack into the air, and then didn't land in time to do spikes. But he get he manages to get back, doesn't get punished for the black hole, and gets a dash attack back the other way into a shadow ball to win the game. This is ridiculous. Our All first this ever game forth. 18 grand finals in Kirby Fighters 2. And oh my god. Mandalore, once again on Factory Tour. We will see if E47 can clutch this yeah. out in a matchup that Poyo has never lost. All of this back and forth mad action, and the only thing on the line is five dollars. If P47 can beat, if P47 can beat, I don't know if he just didn't win five dollars. I have no There's idea what no we do. No gain from this except five dollars. All right, so here we go. Game 18 of Grand Finals, and it's a big combo to start off with P47. Immediately starting the off. The worst of it. The spike. Oh yeah, but the dash B into the apple. Classic Magalore okay, stuff. Rolls away, oh. there. rolls away from the grab. Oh, good, the good, 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 good. Big dash tag. That's yep, a big yep, yep. Oh. conversion, though. Into the Ultra Sword for P47. Whoa. He I got a huge lead. It here, bro. Reads that Poyo's going to drop shield from the second hit of spikes as well and gets a dash tag off it. Almost 100 Jeez. health in the lead for P47. Oh my god, Gooey's going to have a hard time making Ultra this up. Sword, you've got everything. Even with damaging moves like Gooey dash attack, this is going to be very difficult. And that's a much better teleport yes. as well. He teleports back to the ground after the high up combo. Oh, and misses and that gobble. The missing the gobble. He must have an absolutely dominating here in game 18. And he gets it with two oh straight shadow balls. Oh my god. What an incredible P47 winning his fourth tournament in a row.